for the greatest job in the world, being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for me. This kid's freedom. gonna die. Soon after. Oh, I knew that was coming. And we're back with another episode of Gamer Flavor. And picking it up at Psychonauts. I'm Beaker. Hey, where are you going, And I seem to have the lost Sarah. I'm here. At I'm sorry. Class, oh. <laughs> he holds you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm Andy. calling my parents to come get me. That is I nice. Too late. Oh. <laughs> God, if he bites you, you just have an immediate you infection. Oh, gross. Yeah. yeah. Look how green his gums are. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's normal or not because of his skin color. Like, he's very blue, so maybe his gums are supposed to be like this. Maybe, but it's like patchy. Like, it's like half yeah. green, half skin tone. I'm the strong man around here. Yeah, you oh. look it, buddy. Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Got him. Betty, put this kid down on my to-do list. I really like the shading. Like, I feel like that is a huge technical achievement for when this game was made. Like, this is like early 2001, is, I think, is when they started on this. That's crazy. I'm trying to remember. 01 was like. We just started the PS2, is that right? Um, possibly. I don't really know the timeline, to be honest. I know 98 was Metal Gear Solid. Or maybe. Yes. Did you ever play the game Full Throttle? That sounds familiar, but I don't remember it. The guy who created this game, uh, he worked for LucasArts, and he did Full Throttle. And this is actually like a scrap idea from when he was working on that, that game. Huh. Okay. Which is awesome. Hey, Chloe. What are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. Oh, cool. Little kid with a space helmet. It's a cute space helmet, too. It's a very cute game. All right, let's, uh... Coach Oleander? Let's get up I'm in that head. Basic training. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind? So you dramatic. will have to relive every bullet scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It'll be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? These kids are just vibing. Look at them. Yeah, they're really enjoying themselves. Well then. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. Um. Does everybody's head have that, or is it. I. Yeah. Oh, that's just a visual representation for the psychonauts? Right, for them going in. So. This is it. The mental world. Look at this piece of paraphernalia. Not paraphernalia, uh -huh. propaganda. Like a dentist office. I wish I were a, a man. Mental yeah. dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for me. This kid's freedom. gonna die. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Mm -hmm. Come on, soldier. <laughs> but you said... There's only one way out of awesome. here. Awesome. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you. Once you do, the war is on. You can right. punch him? No! Clearly not. <laughs> no, I got it. Come on. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go. Oh, wow. So this is what the inside of his head is like. Yeah, just chaos and violence. Oh. 
I knew that was coming. What kind of obstacle course is this? <laughs> He's not even. The kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. <laughs> He's not dead. His I forgot lip cut. Just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your ass for projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. Nice, nice way yep. to skirt under that teen rating. <laughs> Poor man, what action has he seen? Oh. I like to think he's never seen action, but he just like, re he's like, this is his fantasy. He wishes. Oh, I see. I thought I was dead from that, okay. So you wanna collect these guys. It'll oh, probably okay. tell you. Relax, that's just a figment of my imagination. Ah. You can run right through figments. Okay. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, get that figment. Collect 100 points and you'll be promoted. Not enough, enough you'll learn new psychic abilities. Cool. Okay. Be a piggy piggy. Who's <laughs> little piggy? <laughs> going, going, going. <laughs> I love this guy. What are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage. Wow. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. So, does it change the guy's character if I help sort out his emotional baggage? No, but you do get the same memories of his that like, were like formative for him. Okay. I like that even this like ultra macho man is like, yes, you need to work through your emotional problems. <laughs> well, he's macho. He's not like uh, closed minded, I guess. Yeah. Okay. God, who hurt you? What, did I miss anything? Is there anything down there? <sighs> No, well, there might be some stuff. figments scattered around. That's most of what's hidden. I've got to get used to these figments because they're not, you know, one thing. They're all sorts of different uh, types of drawings. So he fought in D-Day, maybe? Do you just think by the imagery? Yeah, I was, well, maybe. If there's like a parachuting dude, old school tanks. Cleavers. <laughs> I love these plants that are just bullets. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that. And dog tags? Yeah. What a crazy game. Move, move, move. Yeah, this, um, they had so much trouble getting this game uh, to come out. Uh, Microsoft was attached at one point and then bailed out. They found another uh, backer eventually. It took years, but I mean, this really meant a lot to the team and they pushed through. I, I mean, obviously why, it's uh, taken like a decade for the second one to come out. Yeah, well, I wonder why they had so much trouble. You think because it's like so unique? Um, that... And I think they had like money problems. We um, can't get past this. This is stupid. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry. What? I'm not stupid. You're mm. stupid. <laughs> the coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. Excellent. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? <laughs> oh, uh, here's a little fact that I thought would be fun. You just played the Half-Life games, right? Yeah. Um, uh, well, the... I'm still in the middle of Half-Life 2, or almost finished with it. Okay. The one of the writers for the game, the like second main writer, he wrote for the Half-Life games and the Portal games. Saving this plant. Okay. Never seen one so meaty before. His name is Eric Wolpaw. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. 
Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. Hmm. Well, that was nice. That's oh, yeah, crazy, though. I didn't know that the guy who did uh, Half Life also did this. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was like a fun, fun little bit of trivia. Well, the. Like, I like Half Life, it's a lot of fun, but Portal I enjoy more just because of how silly it is. Yeah. My, uh, I used to have, like, a satellite navigator, like a Garmin, and I found this way that you could put your own voices on it, and then people would make files. And I did, um... Oh, shoot, what is her name? The Gladys. evil... Yeah, I did Gladys as my, uh, Garmin voice. This is very ominous. Oh, yeah, I bet. Turn left. I can't do her voice. Time to stand around when you're dead. <laughs> oh! I just kept going, you know? Alright, let's see. Is this like a submarine? Oh, it's just rocks. I wonder what they do for the government. I assume they, like, go into people's brains and take secrets. Probably, yeah, like spies. Or... I do they think they can. People mentally. Yeah, I was about to say, I think they can actually, like, affect people, though. Okay. Like, control them? I don't think they control. There's one guy here. You heard him earlier in the intro um, where they're like, Nine, I don't want you to ruin this kid with your experiments. He's kind of into some yeah. darker stuff. It's game day, kid. Oh no, I missed it. There are, yeah, there's so many in this game, too. I gotta get every one, <laughs> right? <laughs> the fact that they're 2D is kind of Yeah, this is difficult. challenging. Oh, come on. Okay, I got that one. No! Oh, no! Onward and upward, soldier. Oh, is that like a continue I just used? Yeah, yeah. And when those run out, you um, have to start the, the level over. I'll have to be careful. I'll have to restart the whole level. Uh huh. These fart clouds everywhere. <laughs> oh, this was. This is where I was trying to go, right? Uh, I believe I so. I was supposed to jump across this. And there's a ladder there. Was that ladder there before? Huh. Well, I'm confused now. Dang, my bowels move more than you do, <laughs> Yeah, because I'm back here. Huh. I wonder where they want me to go. So I went the classified route. Oh, I missed something anyway, so... So, in this world, kids just sometimes have psychic powers, and if they do, they're recruited by the government to get trained. Yep. It's kind of like Jedi. I don't know why it has to be children. Yeah, maybe like they just need like lifelong training to be effective at this. Hmm. There's a lot of uh, stories like that, I think. Like Ender's Game or uh, well, Star Wars. I need to read more of those. They're good. They are. Um, I don't care for the author, but... Um, oh, yeah, I've heard it's he's your name, Joey. got some no, issues. <laughs> yeah. Slowy Joey. That's not my name. <laughs> what was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya. You're talking too slow. 
<laughs> Got him. Less waiting, more motivating. All right. So this dude is my favorite character. What the final battle will be here. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to face him as a boss. Floating around. I think it went down. It'll, it'll come back, I think. Yeah, it's probably Maybe. in like a loop. To be honest, I don't think I've ever gotten oh. every single one of them. Um, I will. <laughs> I don't know, probably not. Ah. Um, go down and down. up. Hey, slow down, kid. If you pass me, you pop your nickel. All of these kids are so terrified. Bobby, I would be. Yeah, no fair. I'm just being like, these poor circumstances they're in. Oh, it's him. Hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I Dogen. keep blowing up. Follow me, I'll help you. Well, good luck with that. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want him to kill me, so I'm gonna Follow befriend me. him. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. Stay close. Oh, Dogen! Oh. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Uh, maybe. I generally this... hate anything a game makes you do where a character follows you. Yeah, usually it's terrible and. I can't do it. Oh, I can't do just... it. Dogen. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Oh, well, that was easy. Yeah, he takes no convincing. <laughs> Shit me on through. We did it. Look, Raz! I didn't explore it at all. Good hustle out there. Onward hey. upward, soldier! Um, this is for helping me out. Okay, bye. Oh, nice. Give me that. This is Psychic Arrowhead. A Psychic Arrowhead. Its raw energy will contribute value to your arrowheads in small amounts, but I think you'll find they add up over time. <clears throat> Excellent. Oh! Where's this other one going? Come on. to raise the flag. I like that they suggested to save. I need to. Okay. I think we'll pick what up uh, on the next episode. All right.